Well, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I had a phone call. That was actually my wife telling me that our baby might be arriving today. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be super busy. I'm not going to have time to make videos for a while. But I'm super excited. I got a smile from ear to ear right now. I'm going to go ahead and get ready. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, this is the clear mesh from Bulk Reef Supply. This right here is not from Bulk Resupply. This is actually aluminum. I bought this in Home Depot. It's a screen door replacement frame. So I kind of I kind of cut it myself. I painted it black because it comes in white. It doesn't come in black to kind of match my cuz I have black silicone on my my rimless. I absolutely love its function. I'm not crazy about the look. As you can see, it doesn't look this bright in real person. But, you know, it, it kind of takes away from the point of a rimless because you want the nice open. Let me take it off so you guys can see what I mean. You know, when it's rimless, it's, you know, it's, to me, it's just beautiful. Like, you see the movement on the water. You see the MP40 and the MP10 just going to work. Like, just, I don't know. It takes away from the beauty. I'll give you a top shot. I think it's absolutely beautiful. That's the reason I wanted rimless. You know, you pay a little bit more money, but to me, it's worth it. But now I got to put a screen up. I'm going to have a baby soon. You don't want baby throwing toys in there. So I guess that's a sacrifice I have to deal with. But I guess every now and then I can take the top off and just enjoy the view, kind of. <laughs> but um, what else I wanted to tell you guys? Oh, about my lights. I haven't done a review on, let me show you the... Reef Breeders LEDs. This light is amazing. That's the only thing I can say about it. Let me go through the settings that I have. Right now, I think I have it on manual for the video, which is sunny right here, the top button. Then I can switch it to cloudy. That's my cloudy setting. I'll do it again. Sunny, cloudy. You can't really tell too much on the video, but in person, it's considerably different. It's a more softer, less blue, less white intensity. Then I have the moon. The moonlights are sick. They're not showing up well on video. It looks white, but trust me, it's a beautiful blue. See the ripple effect? It's really nice. Um, then I have a custom setting. Which is, it is on custom now because I have my lights ramping up. So this is the setting it will be on custom. So after that, oh, then there's like a manual setting where you can like do whatever you want. I have it super bright. I was showing uh, my brother-in-law that was here last night. I was showing him the settings and stuff. So right now that's at 70% blue and 40% white. Which is, you know, just more than enough. I'll never have it a hundred, a hundred. That's just ridiculous. You'll bleach everything. But right now I'm running it on sunny, and it's doing great. These lights. This is the forty-eight inch fixture. Um, I can't say nothing bad about the light. I'm really impressed with it. You know, it wasn't cheap, but then again, what is in this hobby? You know, when you have a four hundred and sixty-five dollar pump. On one side and another two hundred and sixty five dollar pump on the other side. You really can't <laughs> you really can't say nothing about your lighting, which is probably one of the most important things about a reef tank. But yeah, this light is really nice. It's touch control um buttons. You know, if you want to switch modes, there you go. You wanna go through your modes, you just press sunny. I'm sorry about the um the uh the blur i don't know why it doesn't focus in on that but let me put it back on sunny but yeah so far so good man i really can't complain about anything i'm having a little bit of an issue with um with hair algae now i never had hair algae in my old nano tank the whole time i had it i'm not sure if it's the lights i kind of messed with the lights a little bit and i cleaned out my refugium uh, a couple of weeks ago maybe that's causing it also, I had my first loss of a coral, which is my torch. I don't know what happened. It had like a brown film on it. Somebody could help me out telling me what the heck that is. It died so fast. I don't know what happened. No idea. Then I bought another small frag, 
and put that in there, and it died within a, a week. Yet everything else is thriving. So I have no idea what's going on. I did a large water change, added carbon, but for some reason the torch is just—I don't know. I don't know what happened. But I'm gonna give it a try again eventually. Not right now. Whatever was in there only messed with the torch, so I'm kind of waiting. Making sure it's not in my system anymore. I was wet skimming and doing water changes to get whatever it was out. I'm not medicating the tank or anything. It's just because if it was all my corals going through something, then I would take more aggressive actions. But since it was just the torches, which I love the torch, but, you know, it is what it is. It's going to happen eventually. You're going to lose a coral. The only thing you can do is learn from it and not do that again or whatever. But, um, yeah, I'm going to make some more videos, guys. I'm going to give you a tour of my, my sump and my Apex controller, which the controller is sitting right here. Um, I had it mounted up here somewhere. I forgot. And I didn't like the look of the wire. And, you know, this is an apartment, so I can't, you know, like make a hole in the wall and have it sticking out the wall. But I got to think of something where to mount this, where it's not kid accessible. And it's also not like an eyesore to have the wire. I don't know, maybe coming out the back here. You know, coming out the back here and right there. Um, I guess that's it for now. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the new subscribers. I was surprised to get on the other day. I had like 15 new subscribers. So that's that's pretty cool. You know, if, any, if I can help anybody out or anybody has any comments... I appreciate it. Um, and I guess that's it. I'm going to get ready for my baby. Wow, that's weird. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, guys. And I'll try to make videos as soon as I can. Thanks. Later.